Like, it was supposed to be a really boring draft. One of the worst classes ever for the draft in the NBA. I did not do a live blog on Billy Paltz Revisited for precisely that reason, Starkey. I didn't watch it live for that reason. I oh, my taped. goodness. And my wife goes on to Twitter and starts going, Drew Holiday trade. I'm like, stop, stop, Wait, I'm taping it. Get a T.O. Talk about exciting. And when I first was hearing about this trade, I'm now watching it on a DVR. I'm going, are you crazy? He's your leading scorer, your best player. What are you thinking? You're, you're as bad as Ed Stefanski. Now nobody can oh be that goodness. bad. I started thinking, wait a minute. This is crazy like a fox brilliant here. Well, <laughs> I don't know if I want to go that far. but yeah, I well, okay. You weren't going anywhere, Drew Holiday. He was well, an all-star yeah. last year. But if, if Rondo comes back and is healthy with the Celtics, if Derrick Rose's father, brother gives him permission to play next year for the Bulls, right. those two are all-star point guards. Drew Holiday doesn't make the all-star team. He sold him at the highest point like the stock market. You got your most for him. And it's okay to be bad. In the NBA, you almost have to be bad or tank games to be, get good. It, it, the free agency is not set up like other sports and so forth. And that's one of the reasons it's frustrating to watch the NBA sometimes. You can't improve unless you can become really bad. Right. They are set themselves up with a tremendous draft class next year. The top five potential guys coming out for the NBA next year are really, really look good. YouTube these guys. Um, I'm excited to see them be bad next year. Well, yeah. I mean, they, they, well, one of the things that they've done is they've clearly written off next season. I mean, they're just they all they. I think they want to be in the lottery. I think they. they I, I think they're going to be. I don't think there's any way they're going to be anything other than a bad team. Right. Uh, but that's a good part of the plan. And, and and you're right. This sport is a little bit different than all the other team sports that we pay attention to. And you you have to have great players, and you have to to some extent roll the dice in order to gate get great individual players and, and um, so, so that's what they're doing I mean it's not it's not hard to understand what they're doing and uh, I, I, I think I, I think there are a lot of people fans you know the the, the sort of talk radio buzz uh, people who are a lot more on board with tanking a season or or writing off a season in theory than they are in practice and you're going to hear some of that as, as next winter but yeah. so what? That's okay. That's I mean, this is what ha you have to go through in order to aim big. Aim big. Not aim for 45 wins. Aim big. Yeah, and, and you know, we, we use the word tanking. It sounds so negative. In this case, it's, it's letting the young guys play. You know, Nor they got Noel uh, with, the, 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 with the New Orleans pick at number six on this trade. Yeah. Um, he's not healthy right now. Yeah, and Take he may not be until January or February. Time. Yeah. Right, but he'll develop as, as a young big man. You got a young point guard that you drafted eleven and Carter Williams. Let him out there and develop. And you're going to go with these young guys and, and not spend yeah. the money on a free agent or take those chances. So I'm okay. It with is that. A, it is un, a little bit unfair to, to use the word tanking. I, I regret using that word. You're right. I mean, I mean, they 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 are what they are next year, and they're going to they're not going to they're not trying to lose. They're, it's 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 a de, it's developing a team for the long haul. For the long yeah. haul, and I think I, I think that's. I got done thinking. Finally, a general manager who's a, who has guts and also has a plan. There's guys that have made moves that sound, that sounds gutsier, that's bold, but there was no long-term plan involved. It was planned yeah. for now, and they just sort of flander in there and get the six, seven, eight seed, and they go nowhere. Be bad next year and develop these young guys and get picks. Let me give you some names. I'm going to be watching college basketball. You've got a Wiggins is going to be a Kansas uh, next year. It's supposed to be like a freshman. Nice LeBron James yeah. freshman. You've got Parker at Duke. You've got Randall at Kentucky. You've got a kid at Arizona that looks good. And you've got, a, I think his last name Smart at Oklahoma State, that if he would have come out this year, they were saying a top three pick. People are saying like a Dwayne Wade type. I'll take any of those top five what the Sixers need next year. And they've got a pick from the Pelicans. The Orleans is not going to make the playoffs next year because the West is so good. They should be improved. The protect the pick is protected through five. If but they're if, not going to be that bad, yeah. They'll if be the about Pelicans 11. are a top, get a top five pick, it's protected. If they're if not, it's not obviously not protected. And what you're saying is true. I think they should be better, but probably not good enough to make a playoff. So just to explain what we're saying here, they're probably not going to be top five, but they probably are going to be lottery. That's yeah. what the Sixers I'm want. I'm most excited I've been about a bad team in a long time. <laughs> 